Hello friends, welcome to our Bear Creek Sunday School time together. My name is Miss Susie. I'm so happy to be joining you this morning. I miss you so much. There's so many memories I have with you. My favorite memory is Sunday mornings when I got to see your faces and got some warm hugs. As you listen to today's story, I want you to remember some of those memories and keep them in mind. But before we move on, let's pray. Will you put your hands together and repeat with me? God, we thank you for our family and our Bear Creek friends. Help us listen and remember today's story. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now you know, let's grab our Bibles. Today, we're reading from the Old Testament. Will you open your Bible with me to the book of Joshua? Joshua is the sixth book in the Old Testament. Our story today comes from Joshua chapters three and four. Let's listen to our story. So, why did you call us all here? Well, I found these boxes and there are old pictures of us. I thought it would be fun to go through them together. Hey, look! Here's a picture from when I had to repair the boat. I remember that! You did a good job! Look at this one! This was when we went camping. That was so much fun. I loved looking up and watching the stars. Here's one from our picnic. This was such a fun day on the beach. Great food and great friends. Makes me think of the Israelites, but they had a different way to mark their memories. For three days, Joshua and the Israelites were camping at the Jordan River. On the third day, Joshua told the Israelites to follow the priest carrying the Lord's chest. Because the Lord's chest was holy, Joshua told the Israelites to leave about 3,000 feet between them and the chest. Don't even go near it. In order for the Israelites to cross the Jordan River, the priests were to take the Lord's chest and stand in the river. Once in the river, God would stop the water from flowing so the Israelites could cross safely. So the priest obeyed and stepped out into the water. And as they did, a miracle happened. God stopped the water from flowing and the people crossed on dry land. Next, God told Joshua to pick 12 men from each tribe in Israel. Then each man was to pick one stone per man from the area where the priest stopped with the chest. Once the men did this, the priests crossed over with the Lord's chest and the water started flowing again. The Israelites camped out near a city called Jericho. Then they stacked the 12 stones to help them remember what God had done. Joshua told the Israelites that future generations would see the 12 stones set up and know that they crossed on dry land. The 12 stones the Israelites set up reminds me of the pictures we take to remember our time together. We should find a picture of all of us that we could hang up on the wall. Yeah, that would be a good reminder of all the fun we have and the cool adventures we get to go on together. Let's look for a picture we all like. Hey! I think I found a good one! Yeah, I like that one. Let's hang it on the wall! Okay! What's your favorite memory with your friends? Crossing the river on dry land was a mighty act of God. And the people of Israel wanted to remember how God had been with them and helped them cross the river. They built a memorial stone. Do you remember how many stones they used? Twelve. 
That's right, one for each of the 12 tribes of Israel or the groups of families in Israel. God promised to be with Joshua and he promised to be with the people. It's important to remember that God is always with us. Let's pray. God, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you for being with us. Help us to remember that you are going to take care of us no matter where we are. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Now we're ready for our activity. Today, we're going to save all our memories and put them into a memory time capsule. For this activity, you're going to be needing a couple of items. To begin with, you're going to need a paper towel tube. A few of your favorite markers. You'll probably need some scissors, masking tape, two small pieces of foil, and 12 strips of paper. Now, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut your strips of paper. Do you remember at the beginning I asked you to keep in mind your favorite memories during um, this time? Well, now we're going to bring those memories up. What are some of your favorite things that you remember doing during this quarantine? What's your favorite Bible story? You're gonna wanna write that on there. What's a favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse is Joshua 1, 9. Be strong, be courageous. The Lord your God will be with you always. What are you thankful for? Do you have a favorite church memory? Something that you really enjoy doing? What about a favorite snack during the quarantine? Do you have a favorite book? A favorite teacher? What's a kind act that you've done during this time? Maybe you have more than one. Who is someone that you've been praying for? What is your favorite all-time memory? Who's been your best friend during this quarantine? Maybe you have more than one. Write those answers on your strips. Then we're ready to move on to the next part of our activity. Take your paper towel too. I've painted mine just to make it a little bit more brighter and exciting. But take your paper towel tube and your two pieces of foil. You're actually only going to need one. Put your um, paper towel tube on top of your foil and then just tightly put, lay the foil on top of it like that. Take your masking tape and you're going to want to cover the whole area, all of the foil. And the reason we're going to do this is because we're going to seal this time capsule. We don't want to get into it or we don't want to get let anyone get into our memory time capsule because these are our memories that we want to remember. So you're just going to lay the masking tape all around, making sure that you cover all the foil. You just want to make sure that it's not going to be easily opened, as I've mentioned. So now I've got the top covered. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the masking tape and I'm going to put it around the tube to secure it really well. I don't think you can add too much tape to this. The more sealed it is, the better it's going to preserve your memories. Okay, so you just want to make sure you just keep adding tape. You can use whatever kind of tape you have. Make sure that the masking tape is not just covering the foil because then it'll pop right out. So make sure you go just a little bit lower of where you see the 
the foil and tape that down. That way you know that your masking tape is taping down on the paper towel too. I'm gonna add one more strip just to be safe. Okay, so I've done one side and that's all I wanna do. So I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna keep it right there. Now, I've already got started writing my favorite memories on strips of papers. So for example, my favorite song is The Blessing. If you haven't heard it, be sure to check it out. What I've done is I've just crinkled it all together and I'm gonna start putting all my memories into my tube. Some of them I've done smaller than the others. You're gonna have 12 of these and you're just gonna push them in there. Some of these I've done on, I've just rolled the paper out. This one was my, uh, what I'm thankful for and I'm really thankful for my sons, my children. And you're just gonna keep adding your strips in there. However best you want to do it. You don't wanna leave any of your memories out of here. Now, I've also collected a few items that are really special to me. They help me remember how God has been with me. So, I'm gonna add just a little cross because during this quarantine, Jesus has been with me and he's taken care of me. I'm also gonna add a rock because God is my foundation. That's what I've learned this summer during our Bible stories. Remember that some of the things you can add on here can be pictures that you've made or pictures that you've taken with family. You're gonna to wanna to push it down in there. Now, I also have a few jewels and this is just gonna make it a little bit more exciting and fun when I open it. I'm gonna add some pieces of tissue paper I just kind of found around. Because when I open this, I want it to be a really cool surprise for me. I don't know if I'm gonna remember these memories, but now that I've written them down and I'm saving them, I know I'm gonna remember them. Here's another cross I'm gonna add on here. Oh. I remember in one of our past activities, I made a heart out of cardboard. And so I'm gonna put this heart in here because it's gonna remind me that during this quarantine, we've been able to learn about God together. So just keep adding. You might wanna add some ribbon. Maybe you can add some favorite stickers in there that you wanna save for later. All right. Then the last thing we're gonna do is seal off our memory time capsule by repeating what we did the first time. Remember that we taped it and we sealed it. Now, so here it is. You're gonna wanna decorate it too. Let me show you a finished time capsule that I made. This one has all my memories in here. I've sealed the top and I've sealed the bottom and hopefully I can't get into it. Let me show you a different one I made. This one I used with a special jar that I had. This one's glass, so if you're gonna use glass, make sure you ask your, your one of your family members, an adult family member, if it's okay. And um, this is a good way to save your memories too. You can see in here, I have some of my memories in here. They're rolled up and folded. I also put one of my favorite snacks during the quarantine, but they're the, 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 the container or the package, I'm sorry, the package is empty. If you're gonna put uh, food, don't put any food in there because you're gonna wanna preserve your memory for a long time. And I don't know what's gonna happen to that candy that you put in there. So I just put a wrapper. I also put some jewels in here. You may not be able to see them. And I put a nice little ribbon on there. And I've actually sealed the lid with super glue. So I'm not gonna be able to get in here for quite a while. Now remember that the reason we're making these time 
capsules, these memory time capsules, is to remember how God has been with us during this quarantine. Now, you're gonna wanna save this and decide, when are you gonna open it? Will it be one year from now? Maybe five, 10 years from now? Be sure to write that on there and resist the temptation to want to open it. I want to um, save my time capsule for one year. You might want to do it longer. So I want to make sure that I write my name on there. So if you have brothers and sisters making a time capsule with you, you'll know exactly whose time capsule it is. So make sure you write your name on there. And I'm going to write the date. I'm going to open it a year from now. So I'm going to write July 9th. I'm going to open it on the 9th. And I'm not going to open it to 2021. Now, remember that even though we face difficult situations, God is with us. He'll always be with us a year from now. 10 years from now, he'll be with you for the rest of your life. And even beyond that, because we have the promise of eternity with, with God. Thanks for joining us. I hope to see you again next week.